What if you could fly from New York to Los Angeles in half the time without causing chaos on the ground? NASA's X-59 is turning this dream into reality, transforming ear-splitting sonic booms into gentle thumps no louder than a car door closing. This X-59 quiet supersonic aircraft is a leap forward in supersonic flight and promises to change the way we think about air travel. But here's the kicker. This revolutionary X-59 supersonic jet doesn't even have a front window. So how does the pilot see where they're going at nearly 1,000 miles per hour? The answer might just blow your mind. The sonic boom problem. Imagine breaking the sound barrier, not with a bang, but a whisper. That's the ambitious goal driving NASA's X-59 project. But to understand why this aircraft is so revolutionary, we need to dive into the problem it's solving, the sonic boom. When an aircraft travels faster than the speed of sound, it creates a shockwave. This shockwave manifests as a thunderous boom that can shake buildings, startle people, and even shatter windows. It's not just a momentary disturbance. The boom travels with the aircraft, affecting a wide corridor on the ground below. This disruptive nature of sonic booms has led to widespread bans on supersonic flight over land in many countries, including the United States. The formation of a sonic boom is a complex process. As an aircraft approaches the speed of sound, it begins to compress the air in front of it. When it breaks the sound barrier, these compressed waves merge into a single shock wave. This shock wave, along with another created at the tail of the aircraft, forms the characteristic double boom we associate with supersonic flight. The impact of sonic booms extends beyond noise pollution. They can cause stress in humans and animals, disrupt ecosystems, and even damage fragile structures. In some cases, sonic booms have been mistaken for earthquakes or explosions, causing panic and confusion. The Concorde, once the pinnacle of supersonic passenger travel, fell victim to these restrictions. Despite its ability to cross the Atlantic in half the time of conventional aircraft, it was limited to transoceanic routes due to sonic boom concerns. This severely limited its economic viability and contributed to its eventual retirement. The challenge then is clear. How can we achieve supersonic speed without the boom? This is where NASA's X-59 comes into play. The X-59 is designed to fly at supersonic speeds while producing a sound no louder than a car door closing. If successful, it could revolutionize air travel, potentially leading to a new era of commercial supersonic flight over land. But how exactly does the X-59 achieve this seemingly impossible feat? The answer lies in its innovative aircraft design, which manipulates the shock waves produced during supersonic flight. Let's explore the unique features like the external vision system that make the X-59 a potential game changer in aviation history. X-59, engineering a quiet revolution. At first glance, the X-59 might seem more like a spacecraft than an airplane. Its elongated nose and smooth underside are far from conventional, but these seemingly alien features are the key to achieving what many thought impossible, supersonic flight without the boom. Let's unravel the engineering secrets that could rewrite the rules of aviation. NASA's X-59 is a marvel of aeronautical engineering designed to tackle the long-standing problem of sonic booms. The aircraft's most striking feature is its extraordinarily long tapered nose, which accounts for nearly a third of its 99.7-foot length. This isn't just for show. It's a crucial element in breaking up shock waves that typically coalesce into a sonic boom. By carefully shaping the nose, engineers have found a way to prevent these shock waves from merging behind the aircraft, significantly reducing the intensity of the sonic boom. But the innovations don't stop at the nose. Look closely, and you'll notice something unusual about the engine placement. Unlike traditional aircraft designs, the X-59's engine sits atop the fuselage. This unconventional positioning serves a dual purpose. It contributes to the aircraft's streamlined underside and helps further reduce ground noise. The engine itself is a modified F414 GE100, similar to those powering F18 Super Hornets, capable of propelling the X-59 to a cruising speed of Mach 1.4. That's about 925 miles per hour. The smooth underside of the X-59 isn't just aesthetically pleasing, it's another key factor in noise reduction. By minimizing protrusions and maintaining a sleek profile, the aircraft can more effectively manage the airflow and shock waves generated during supersonic flight. However, these design innovations come with their own set of challenges. Perhaps the most striking is the absence of a forward-facing window in the cockpit. 
With the cockpit positioned almost halfway down the length of the aircraft, pilots can't see directly ahead of them. So, how do they navigate? Enter the external vision system, a cutting-edge solution to this unique problem. High-resolution cameras capture the view ahead, feeding it to a 4K monitor in the cockpit. This system allows pilots to navigate effectively despite the unconventional cockpit design, ensuring safe operation at supersonic speeds. As we peel back the layers of the X-59's design, one question remains. How will all these innovations translate into real-world performance? Let's explore the capabilities that make this aircraft a potential game-changer in the world of aviation. Breaking the sound barrier quietly. Imagine cruising at 925 miles per hour, faster than the speed of sound, yet leaving barely a whisper in your wake. This isn't science fiction. It's the ambitious goal of NASA's X-59. But at what altitude does this magic happen? And what kind of engine can propel an aircraft to such speed so quietly? The X-59's performance targets are nothing short of revolutionary. Its cruising speed of Mach 1.4, or about 925 miles per hour, is well beyond the sound barrier. But what exactly is Mach speed? It's a measure of velocity relative to the speed of sound. At Mach 1, an object is traveling at the speed of sound. The X-59's Mach 1.4 means it's moving 40% faster than sound itself. Crucially, the X-59 achieves this speed at an altitude of 55,000 feet. This isn't just to give pilots a better view. At this height, the air is thinner, which helps reduce the intensity of the sonic boom as it travels to the ground. It's a key factor in the X-59's noise reduction strategy. Powering this supersonic marvel is a modified F414 GE100 engine, similar to those used in FA-18 Super Hornets. This powerhouse generates 22,000 pounds of thrust, enough to push the X-59 to its impressive speeds. But raw power isn't enough. It's the engine's strategic placement on top of the aircraft that helps minimize ground noise. So, how does the X-59 break the sound barrier without the deafening boom? It's a combination of its unique design features working in harmony. The long tapered nose breaks up shock waves before they can coalesce. The smooth underside and top mounted engine further manage these waves. The result? Instead of a sonic boom, we get a gentle thump. How quiet is this thump? NASA expects the X-59 to produce a noise level of just 75 perceived loudness decibels at ground level. To put that in perspective, it's about as loud as a car door slamming from across the street or distant thunder. Compare this to the window-rattling booms of traditional supersonic aircraft, like the Concorde, and you begin to appreciate the magnitude of this achievement. With such promising performance projections, the next step is to prove it all works in real-world conditions. NASA has laid out an extensive testing and validation phase for the X-59, from ground tests to subsonic flights, and finally to breaking the sound barrier, each step will bring us closer to a new era of quiet supersonic flight. What will these tests reveal about the future of air travel? The X-59, which represents the latest in aerospace innovation, could usher in a new age of commercial supersonic flight, paving the way for faster air travel without the usual noise pollution. This technology is a true engineering marvel that might one day revolutionize air travel. Let's explore the roadmap that could transform the way we fly, from advanced technologies like the external vision system to next-generation pilot navigation technology. The X-59's success could ultimately reshape the future of aviation, blending the excitement of supersonic speed with the calm of quiet flight. From test flights to transforming air travel, picture yourself boarding a plane in New York and stepping off in Los Angeles just two hours later. It sounds like fantasy, but NASA's X-59 might make it a reality. The path from experimental aircraft to commercial viability is long and complex. What hurdles must be overcome, and how close are we to seeing supersonic passenger jets in our airports? The journey begins with a series of carefully orchestrated tests. NASA has laid out an extensive validation phase for the X-59, starting with integrated ground tests at Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works facility in Palmdale, California. These tests include engine runs and taxi trials to ensure all systems are functioning correctly. Only after passing these initial checks will the X-59 take to the skies for its first flight, currently scheduled for early 2025. Once airborne, the X-59 will undergo a gradual process to reach its target speed of Mach 1.4, 
The aircraft will start with subsonic flights, slowly increasing its velocity as engineers analyze its performance. This careful approach allows NASA to gather crucial data at each stage, ensuring the X-59's revolutionary design performs as expected across its entire speed range. But the real test comes when the X-59 flies over populated areas. NASA plans to conduct community overflights across six U.S. cities, assessing how residents perceive the aircraft's noise levels. This public feedback is crucial, as it could influence regulators to reconsider bans on commercial supersonic flights over land. The data collected during these tests will be shared with the aerospace industry and regulators, potentially establishing new standards for acceptable supersonic noise levels. If successful, the X-59 could reshape the landscape of commercial aviation. Airlines might once again offer supersonic routes, drastically reducing travel times for passengers. However, significant challenges remain in scaling up the X-59's technology for commercial use. Its unique design features, such as the lack of a forward-facing window and the unconventional engine placement, pose engineering hurdles for larger passenger aircraft. The timeline for supersonic commercial flights remains uncertain, but the X-59 represents a significant step forward. As NASA progresses through its testing phases, we move closer to a future where crossing continents in a matter of hours becomes commonplace. The X-59 isn't just an aircraft. It's a gateway to a new era of air travel, where the sound barrier is broken not with a boom, but with a whisper. The X-59 represents a monumental leap forward in aviation technology, promising to revolutionize air travel as we know it. By conquering the sonic boom problem, NASA has opened the door to a future where supersonic flight over land becomes a reality. This breakthrough could slash travel times across continents, bringing people and cultures closer together. But the implications stretch far beyond faster flights. The X-59 project demonstrates how innovative engineering can overcome long-standing challenges, potentially inspiring advancements in other areas of aerospace technology. As we stand on the brink of this new era in aviation, it's crucial to stay informed about the progress of supersonic flight technology. The upcoming test flights and community response studies will play a pivotal role in shaping the future of air travel. NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy emphasizes the transformative potential of the X-59, stating that it will help change the way we travel, bringing us closer together in much less time. This vision of the future is echoed by Bob Pierce, NASA's Associate Administrator for Aeronautics Research, who highlights the ambitious nature of the Quest mission and its potential benefits for commercial markets. The X-59 project serves as a testament to human ingenuity and the power of persistence in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles. As we follow its progress, we're not just witnessing the development of an aircraft, but the birth of a new chapter in the history of human transportation. The silent supersonic revolution is upon us, and its impact may be felt for generations to come.